Today is the 108th birthday of Dr. Seuss, and Hollywood is celebrating with the release of the fourth feature film of one of his books. Come on, take a seat. We'll deal you in. Uh, what are we playing? I'm playing poker. He's playing Go Fish, and I think he's hungry. The Lorax stars Danny DeVito as the Lorax, a creature who is a protector of the land. So, Mom, do you happen to know if there's, like, any place where I could get a real tree? Zac Efron as Ted, a 12-year-old boy who's desperately trying to win the heart of Audrey, portrayed by Taylor Swift. I could just kiss you right now! Well, we don't have time for that! I don't know, we have a little time. It also features Betty White as Grammy Norma, Ted's grandmother. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I'm old and can't even remember to put my teeth in. Stand down, that's not what I meant. No, really, I forgot my teeth. Ted lives in a town that is devoid of anything natural aside from its citizens. He meets and falls for Audrey, a slightly older girl whose main desire is to see a real tree. Determined to make her dreams come true, Ted sets out to find a truffle tree. In his quest, he meets the Lorax and learns what happened to the trees. From the same team who did Despicable Me and Horton Hears a Who, this 3D adaptation of the 1971 book is the most captivating Seussian film to hit theaters yet. The ecological and anti-corporate greed messages are more relevant and of greater value to the world today than they were when they were written more than four decades ago. Yeah, right, right. The visual look of the entire thing is well done, while the voice casting couldn't have been better. It almost feels like Dr. Seuss created these characters with Danny DeVito and Betty White in mind. Uh, about that. As a matter of fact, Audrey Geisel, the widow of Dr. Seuss, personally asked Efron to play Ted, stating he was perfect for the role. The only downfall I can find in the entire film is a relatively minor one in the grand scheme of the film. The original songs seem to fall just slightly off target for the theme and style of the movie. The Lorax is the perfect film for the entire family and could easily become a classic. I give it four and a half out of five tickets. You won't be disappointed. For Fox Movie Night, I'm Mike Emery.